Okay guys, so the first step in the lasagna is going to be we've got to bring this pot of water, water, water to boil. We're browning the hamburger. I'm browning it slow. And then we'll we'll put we'll put the sauce in a pan and then we'll put the hamburger in. But right now, a lot of people like uh, cream cheese and cottage cheese in their uh, lasagna so I'm going to put it in this because monkey said she likes it so we're going to do that right now there's the cheese the uh, mozzarella we've got two pounds of mozzarella cheese there that is going to go in and on this lasagna so first let's open this up I'm making a huge lasagna. It won't be as big as I used to make. I used to make them uh, with the pan, and I used to have to use a big, you know, stainless steel pan, which we just got one of these cheap things at the at the Dollar Tree for a buck, because that's all we're going to need. You don't have to wash it, just throw it away when you're done. But I used to make them, and every one would weigh between 30 and 32 pounds. This one will not weigh that much, but we will weigh it. Okay, so we're going to use all of this, okay, this is the cottage cheese, alright, put that in there, now we're going to add the cream cheese, now you can, like I said, you can make this whenever you want, I just get, you know, just, you can get the cheap stuff, I mean, you're, you're not going to tell a difference. You know, people say, "Oh, I can tell a difference." You ain't gonna tell a difference in the how cheap it is when it when it's mixed in with stuff, you know. So I'm gonna use oh about a fourth of it, maybe close to a half. So we'll use that. And we don't need this. This is done, which I will probably use all that. We'll just have to see. Alright, and then just mix it up really well. And uh, this is going to get put in with the layers. So this is small curd cottage cheese. Well, like I said, you can use anything you want. And of course, we bought the cheap cottage cheese. Well, it ain't that cheap. It's $2.99 for that. Or two for four bucks. But um, this was $1.99. And it is 14 ounces. And I don't know what this is. Anyway, so we got this mixed up. And that'll be our cottage cheese. Let's take a little taste and see. Oh my, yeah. Nice. Now you can use ricotta, you can use whatever damn cheese you guys want. Everybody says you have to use mozzarella. No, you don't. If you want to grate up American cheese, put American cheese in it. If you want to do the Mexican mix, which I have done before, it's very good too. So now once once the water gets boiled, I got two boxes of these. They're, they're 12 ounces. They're not the one pound boxes, but they were only a dollar. I got these at the Dollar Tree. So I'll probably end up using a box and a half. I usually have some noodles left over and a little bit of sauce. And when I do, I just mix it up and, 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 and I make like a big giant little thing of spaghetti but with the noodles. And, um, you know, have for snacks and whatnot. Or sometimes I'll freeze it and have it later. But So that's what we're going to do for now. So we've got to wait for the water to boil so I can get these in there. I'm not going to bother you with these. I'm going to wait until these are cooked. And... Then we'll get to putting it in the pan. Now I'm going to add mushrooms with ours, which, you know, a lot of people don't like. But that's a good thing about cooking at home. Guys, you can make it however you want. You can put whatever season you want on it. And um, it's just, you know, you use your imagination. Try different stuff. You can put onions, green onions. You can put scallops. You can, um, you know, put shrimp in it, you know. Shrimp and crab, you know, put one layer of shrimp, one layer of crab, one layer of shrimp, whatever you want. You know, I've made it a uh, hundred different ways, but this is just a standard, just a real 
quick you know something for you know an idea for supper um, you know once everything's cooked it only has to be in the oven for 30 minutes I mean really because everything's cooked all you really got to do is melt the cheese so it doesn't take that long about an hour start to finish you know uh, depending on how long the water takes to boil now I've got a big pot of water on because I'm using two boxes of these where only one box usually does you know a family of four just fine but you know we're going to eat on this for a couple of days so that's going to be good and it's got this this is, was at the uh, Dollar Tree as well now that's not going to be enough of course but I also have uh, this I'm going to mix those two together again I mean if you can uh, I mean if you got that much sauce to where you can really taste whether it's cheap or not well then you know to me that's too much sauce but again however you want so that's what we're going to do with that and uh, so soon the water boils, as soon as I get these cooked, uh, I'll be back with you. Okay guys, I got into editing <coughs> excuse me, a video and I think I overcooked the noodles a little bit, but that's okay. Alright, so now we're gonna put some sauce in, some noodles, just, just a little bit on the bottom, just to kind of keep it from sticking so you don't have to be spray or oils. I know it's probably not good for you no matter what you do, but eh, it's all right. All right now we're gonna we're gonna layer the bottom of that with the noodles. And just like that, it don't have to be perfect, guys. But you can make the top one look perfect. But you ain't gonna see this any layer <coughs> except the top. So if you want to make the top look perfect, cool. But and here's our cottage cheese that we mixed up with the sour cream. Right. Now we're going to put some more of this on here. You can put as much or as little as you want on it, but I don't like mine dry. But then again, I don't want it to where uh, all you're tasting is sauce. I mean, we went somewhere and and we had, I forget where it was, and we had the lasagna, and it was just, it was nothing but sauce. And it was like, man, even, oh yeah, that was down there in uh, Mount Dora. And, uh, we well, we both had the lasagna, and even the, the waitress said, man, that's that's a lot of sauce on there, you know. And we're like, yeah, that, I mean, just, just too much, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all, you know, that's really all, you, all, all we could taste was the sauce, you know. And this you just dab a little bit here and there. Now you can spread it out if you want to. It doesn't matter because once that heats up, it'll kind of spread itself out. But you know, if you want, you can you can mix it up. I have even mixed it in with the sauce before, and that works just as good. So there's that. And now we're gonna put some cheese on here. See, we got two pounds of cheese here. And don't skimp on the cheese, guys. It ain't easy being cheesy. And then uh, also, you know, you can put pepperonis <coughs> in between there. You can use sausages, you know. Um, put sausage on it, What, whatever you want to do. But this is all we're going to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and layer this up to the top. And then I'll be right back with you because we're going to weigh it. Just like the old days. Did you see that? 32 pound, 0. 0.6. So, 
There we go, guys. All right, I'm going to get it covered and get it put in the oven. I'll set the timer at about 30 minutes and I'll check the internal temperature. I want it to be about 170 ish. So, Alexa, set timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, starting now. And there you go, guys. It's all ready to go. We just got to let it rest. Let it rest about 20 minutes because it's it's pretty good size. Yours. You know, if you're making a 10, 12 pounder, you know, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes. I like to that mine rest pretty good, so there it is, guys. And that's our homemade lasagna. Everything's homemade. Store-bought homemade. <laughs> of course, I didn't make the noodles. I didn't make the sauce. Um, I didn't kill the cow, but, you know, it's not frozen. It's fresh. And it's ready to eat. Now I'm not going to show us taste testing it because I know it's going to be great. You guys know it's going to be great. I mean, it's not burnt, so it's going to be fine. So that's that's what we put in ours. Uh, pretty easy. I uh, totaled up. It was right around 15 bucks to make it, and there'll be two or three nights here and uh, for us to eat on, or we can freeze some of it and have it later. So there you go, guys. I want to say thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. And thanks for watching Chef Shea Bear. I appreciate it, guys. Check out Monkey 1002. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.